Greetings from Jacksonville, Arkansas. Today is December the 29th, 2023. It's approximately 11.33 a.m. Y'all, this is the first time that I'm going to switch and have a cup of of coffee and and in, in this case it's going to be chunk full of nuts okay this is i'm going to have a cup of coffee i've already brewed it and um, i normally have tea so this is the first time in a long time so i just opened this let's take a look at this And it has an excellent aroma. Let's see if we can get any product information on here. This is medium roast. I did a previous video on this, but I hadn't opened it at the time. So, uh, let's see. Okay, this product is produced in Suffolk, Virginia. All right, and their information, more information can be found at chunkfollownuts.com. All right, so let me get started here. I've already gotten started, rather. So in this cup, I have put in about roughly about five to six tablespoons of granulated sugar. And then I have the non-dairy coffee creamer, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and op open this and just pour this in. I, pre I prefer hazelnut. Oops. I prefer hazelnut. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in. But this regular one here, store brand, it's not bad at all. It's pretty good. Now let me go ahead and look for a... Um, you know, I like to mix in, the, in addition to the powder creamer, I like to mix in the liquid creamer as well. So let's take a look and see what I got here. Okay, now I like to have, um, this is the pumpkin pie spice, it's international delight, but with coffee, I prefer the caramel vanilla one. So this is the one that I would have. Okay, so this is the vanilla caramel coffee creamer, you guys. I like to keep the aluminum on it to help, you know, keep it fresh. Normally, you remove that and then replace it with this lid and just snap, the, pop this open, right? Like that. Okay, and then, but I like to keep this, the uh, aluminum on it, so... This is the uh, vanilla caramel creamer. And let me go ahead and pour it in. I've already gave, given it a shook. I've sh uh, shook it up already. So you want to make sure you shake this stuff up before you serve it. So let's go ahead and get it in there. All right, and normally, actually, I didn't do that right. I was supposed to pour the coffee first, okay? Let me turn it off. I normally pour the coffee first in there and then add the creamer, All right? But it doesn't, it doesn't matter, but to me, it blends better when you blend the sugar and, and um, powder creamer first. And so let's just give this a stir. I really prefer to pour the hot coffee into the sugar and powdered coffee creamer before I add the liquid. So that's the first time I've ever done it like this before. So let's see. 
Okay, guys, I just taste this. It's a little bit on the sweet side for me. I like it sweet, but not this sweet. It tastes really well. I'm going to adjust the taste by pouring off some of the coffee and adding a little bit of what I got left here in the coffee maker. This was a four cup measurement in the beginning. So this is actually gonna complete my video. You guys, this is uh, me having a cup of chock full of nuts coffee for the first time in a long time having coffee because I normally have tea. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.